All right, so here we are in Seattle, uh, and it's April 17th, 2018, and we can welcome back Serenity. We've got Morton and um, Emma here with us. So how are you guys doing today? Good. Fine, yeah. Thank All right. You. Yeah, again, welcome back to Seattle. I saw you guys last year when you were here with Arcona, and now I get to see you guys headline, which I'm really excited about. And uh, tell me a little bit, how's the tour been going so far? It's been going all right. Uh, we have a fantastic crew. And the other bands on the on the tour is awesome people, great musicians, and uh, yeah, so we're having a really good time. It's um, been going good so far. Okay, and uh, Emma, for you, uh, you've been with the band maybe two, three years now. It's, um, as the lead singer, it's um, almost two years. Oh. Okay, almost two years. Yes, but I got it all. Right. Since uh, 2003. Right. Okay. And um, so now that you've been in the lead singer position for yeah. nearly two years, are you feeling like you're very, really comfortable in the band? And you kind of it's usually when people join a band, it kind of takes a little while to kind of get you know used to the way they do things and being on the road and all that kind of thing. So how are you feeling now that it's been about two years? We're really good now. It took uh, a little bit of time for me to feel calm. Uh, Totally comfortable with the with the songs, with the the fact of being on stage because uh, it needs time, you know, to feel to feel uh, everything. And with the guys, it's uh, just going better and better, or worse. Yeah, yeah, we hate each other. <laughs> no, no. Hate each other more every day. <laughs> it's like a family now. All right, very cool. Um, I'm gonna kind of jump around all over with topics and things like that, but I know you guys have started uh, about a month and a half ago a pledge music campaign for the new album that will be coming out. Um, what can you tell me about the campaign, and um, also what can you tell me about the new album? Um, yeah, the campaign we got the idea to start. Um, the the idea behind it is to have the fans helping us raising some extra funds for the album. Um, our goal has always been to try to improve ourselves with every album you know try to deliver better and better stuff for our fans and we want to, to try to make sure that we're able to choose to work with the right people that we want and the studios that we want and, and to make sure that we have quality in every every process for the recording of the whole album and uh, possibly also looking at getting in some extra session musicians and stuff uh, of course, we, we always use the, the choir for our albums, which is like an important part. And we're also checking out possibilities for bringing in a violin player and maybe some guest singers. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much what it's all about. Uh, so we, we made this like pre order campaign, and uh, fans can already now uh, pre order the album if, if they want to. And there's a lot of other experiences and things that they can. Um, Pledge to on this uh, campaign, so it's uh, yeah. I'd uh, invite all Serenia fans to, to take a look at this campaign and see if there's something that's of interest. And uh, everything for us will be a big help with forming the new album, uh, which we will um, start recording as soon as we get back from this tour. And uh, we aim to have the album out by the 26th of October. Oh wow! Okay, um, and are you guys going when you're done with this tour? Are you gonna be doing some summer stuff too before you hit the studio, or it's kind of like do this tour and then get into the studio? <clears throat> we we have uh, we will hit the studio instantly when I come back, and uh, we have a few festivals in between. But uh, pretty much uh, until the end of July, it's it's uh, first and foremost studio work for us, and uh, we'll make sure to get the album recorded and mixed and mastered. And uh, so, so that's our plan for now. And uh, as soon as the album is out, uh, we will start touring a lot again to promote the new album. And really looking forward to it. It's it's going to be a very, very strong and cool Serenity album for sure. Okay. So, uh, one thing I want to know is that so are the songs basically written at this point, and it's just a matter of going into the studio and recording them, or you kind of like halfway through that process of having the songs written? Yeah, the songs are, are written, so it's basically just uh, start recording and just working a little bit on, on minor details and, and that kind of stuff. So, but the songs uh, they are all ready. Okay, 
and then Emma for you, um, how do you prepare before you go into the studio to record uh, a new album? This time it will be probably a little bit different because we have more time before uh, recording the albums to go through the songs and everything because you know, the previous album was made on a very short time. Mm -hmm. So uh, I've heard all the songs, I heard them uh, often just to, to go through them, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, Morten asked me to write some French lyrics and melodies yes. on, a, on a song. Interesting. <laughs> Happy about it. Yeah, that's that sounds really intriguing. Um, now, I, now I want to hear it, <laughs> but I'll have to wait just like everyone else. <laughs> okay. Um, and kind of for maybe some of the fans that aren't as uh, familiar with, what's your background in terms of um, singers that you admired or uh, influenced you of any genre, not just with symphonic metal, but um, with your vocal style? What, what kind of singers influenced you? A lot of different singers. In a lot of different styles. Uh, I don't know. For example, uh, uh, I was a big fan of Queen when I was a teenager, so I'm a big fan of his technical uh, uh, way of uh, singing. You know, uh, I've been a big fan of Bjork also. You know, of June. Um, I have been a big fan of Alanis Morissette also when I was a teenager. Uh, I like this kind of voice, you know, a little bit. Uh, I like this, uh, this singer very much. A lot of different things. I love King Crimson, also. Okay, so so basically, your your taste is like a very very wide ranging. Then yeah, yeah, lots yeah. of different singers, um, and uh, of the current set list that you're doing right now for this tour in the U.S., is there certain is there a certain song that you really like to perform live? Um, probably the songs uh, from the new album. Because I, I'm feeling totally comfortable with the range. Okay. And, uh, so, for example, uh, "Ashes to Ashes" is a song I like to sing, and "Treasure in Treason." Okay. And then, more. What about for you? What's I mean, with all the songs in the set list, what do you pr like to play? I also really like the to play the the new songs live. Uh, a little bit more uh, technical, more interesting to <coughs> to perform and. Uh, they're also really, really powerful and energetic, so that fits especially good in, in the live format, I think. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying playing the, the newer stuff, especially Pressure and Treason. It's a big favorite, favorite. Goddess of the Sea, too. It works really good live, I think. Okay, and I'm going to kind of take a, a left turn. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but are you guys into, or maybe it's just certain people in the band that are into craft beer? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I think everyone. Okay. okay. <laughs> everyone. Yeah. Because I mean, like, I just recently saw the picture when you were in Portland, and there was like little taste, little tasters, and that type of thing. And I thought I'd read somewhere that you guys were like into certain types of beer, not just the you know, generic kind of stuff. <clears throat> Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Are you drinking beer now, or is that wine? Uh, oh, right now this is just some red wine. Okay. <laughs> we're out of beer at the moment. <laughs> Wait, waiting for supplies. <laughs> okay. Um, where were you in Portland? I was just curious. What, what brewery were you at? Do you, do you remember where you were at? Uh, do you I don't remember, remember the name. Oh. It was like right around the yeah. corner from the venue where okay. we played. Um, very good beer for sure. Great food too. Oh, awesome. All right. And then Emma, you're also into beer as well? Or wine? Or mm, you're this time I didn't uh, taste the beer. I uh, had a good dinner, but I didn't drink. Just a glass of uh, white wine. Okay, all right. The reason I ask, I used to work for a local brewery here, so that's why I'm always interested yeah. when people have a, you know, if they're in the craft beer instead of you know Budweiser and all that kind of stuff. And um, yeah, right. it's, it's, it's an interesting. A lot of the bands, um, more and more of them are drinking craft stuff. They want certain things in the right, or not just the, the generic stuff. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, Emma, for you, before you like even you know, today, what do you tend to do? What's your routine to um, warm up before you do a show? Uh, I warm up not too much before singing. It's important to warm up for me to, to warm up, of course, just to feel more comfortable with the high notes and everything. But I have to find a, uh, a good balance, you know, not to warm up too much, not to tire, to be the, tired uh, in the moment I have to sing. So I just do some vocalists, some um, uh, body exercises mm -hmm. with my neck and everything. And it's okay. And I drink a beer. 
<laughs> okay, and then uh, Morton, actually the same question for you. Do you do any warm-up scales or anything on the guitar, or you just get up there and just start playing? Yeah, I just get up there and start playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't have time to warm up. No, I, I don't really feel the, the need of it, and also <clears throat> I'm a rhythm guitarist, so it's not... My stuff is not that technical, the stuff I'm playing live, so just making sure that my f fingers are warm before going on the stage, that I'm not freezing or anything like that, because then it gets harder, obviously, but, uh, but normally I, I never do any warm up. Okay, and for both of you, is there, um, if you could pick like a band to tour with in the future, what band or bands would you tour with here in America? To, to tour with a, with a temptation, a, for example, yeah, or Nightwish, or one of the big bands in, in that is more or less in our same genre. Okay. Cool. If what about for like uh, like wishful thinking, like if it could be like any band, like a huge band, just for you know a one-off or something? Is there a certain artist that you've always loved? You're like, oh, if I could open for them, just to be able to say I opened for them, that would be cool. I'm not sure. I can't think of any. Priest or Metallica or something that's non-metal. Yeah, yeah. I mean, those are cool bands, you know, that we really <coughs> were huge fans of when we were growing up and stuff. And of course, it would be amazing to open for for this band. But, but in the terms of style, maybe it's maybe it's too far apart for, mm -hmm. for the audience. That, uh, but, but yeah, there's a lot of cool Evanescence, for example, could be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For, for, uh, so then it would probably match a bit, a bit better in styles. Yeah, I agree. And they're going to be doing a, a summer tour here, playing a lot of the big outdoor places, of, in essence, with um, Lindsey Sterling, the violinist gal. So okay. uh, you guys would fit right into that, that mix. So uh, maybe next tour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. I'm gonna, probably the last question for me as I kind of get ready to wrap this up is, um, what do you think, has anything really changed since... You had your first U.S. tour almost a year ago, and then now you're back doing a headlining tour. Um, has America kind of lived up to its expectations, or, or not lived up to it, or been like, that's oh, been pretty good, and we want to come back, uh, you know, after the new album comes out? Or what are your impressions of America? We really like the tour here. I mean, it's kind of new to us, you know, as this is only our second time here. Um, Europe, we've been touring frequently since 2003, but America, we. We only started tour, touring over here last year, so obviously we have, we still have a, a bit of work to do over here, touring and, and building our fan base over here more. So, um, and uh, it, it's what we intend to do. So uh, we hope that we will be able for the future to come back, you know, like on a regular basis and, and, and tour over here. Um, and at the same time, it's of course. More challenging, uh, more difficult, and complicated, you know, for European bands touring over here, especially the just the working visas and, and the paperwork alone is is like a very complicated process and very expensive too. Uh, along with, of course, the expensive overseas flights and shipping equipment and stuff. So yeah, it, it's very it's very expensive for for us to tour over here and um, so it's you know it's uh, something that we need to plan like really really well to, to try and make it work and it's, it's hard to to make a <coughs> profit over here and <coughs> so this is what is going to stand and fall on you know if it's whether it will be possible to continue touring or not uh, but uh, we we intend to 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 try and work hard to make it happen and come back and, and hopefully build a, a bigger uh, fan base over here and as soon as we get more fans over here it will be easier to to make the tours happen too and uh, so yeah we'll do our best and, and hope that uh, uh, that uh, metal fans over here really like it and uh, that we can have more people coming out to the shows in the future okay great and uh, I guess actually the, the actual last last question would be um, <laughs> We kind of already talked about it, but what's coming up in the future for the band? Um, and also, when you're done with this tour, are you going to have a little bit of time to maybe have a bit of a break before you hit the studio and do those festivals? 
uh, I don't think we have time to even sleep until the Ju <laughs> end of July. <laughs> there is not going to be, you uh, know, it's, it's, my calendar is like every day is completely full until the end of July. So it's, it's going to be very busy, but it's going to be some exciting months and I'm really looking forward to, to having the new album ready and to, to start touring again with a new album and uh, and it's, it's our plan you know to, to tour for every market with a with a new album and hopefully also coming back here to North America somewhere spring next year or somewhere around that time okay well great thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me and I'm really really looking forward to seeing you guys play tonight thank you very thank much you. our pleasure